to be honest with you, I am worried. I am so worried for the average Cameroonian guy. Because the way things are going in this country, <laughs> my God, I don't know how it's going to happen. Salaries keep staying the same or even reduced. But the cost of living is adding and people are crying on the streets. People are complaining about every single thing. So at this point, I am worried about the average Cameroonian, how they are living, how they are surviving because prices of everything are going off the roof, like completely off the roof. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the rising cost of living in Cameroon. Douala as my case study because that is where I live in and that is where I have all the information. Okay, I can do research later on and do cost of living in different places parts of Cameroon but for now today we're going to talk about Douala cost of living in Douala and how we are keeping up okay how we are keeping up how we're managing how prices have rise the old prices compared to new prices that's what we're going to do in this video so if you like to see all that just keep watching <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kenna and I'm a Cameroonian YouTuber creating content about my beautiful country Cameroon. If you have any questions about this country Cameroon, you want to ask in the comment section or go to my playlist and watch my playlist that says everything Cameroon. In there, you're going to find out a lot about Cameroon and more. Not talking too much, let's go straight into today's video. Like I earlier said, today we're going to be talking about the rising cost of living in Cameroon. People are complaining prices are rising every single day i said it with the rise of prices of fuel came the increase in prices of everything guys everything i am not joking when i say everything yeah like i said today we'll be talking about duala life in duala how life is changing by the day how prices are changing by the day and i'm just going to go and talk about the different amenities the different things so the first thing i'm going to talk about obviously is rent at this point, I'm sleeping and I'm opening my one eye every day. And I'm just like, I hope my landlady will not come here now and start telling us that she has to increase rent. Because guys, rents are getting higher. So I live in what we normally call in Douala a villa. A villa is just like a self-contained house with three from three bedrooms upwards. So my house has three bedrooms, two toilets, a kitchen and all that. And um, houses like this back in the day would go between 120 to 200, depending on the number of rooms, depending on the space and all that but today getting a villa like this one in Douala like mine is the average one with three rooms small space in front it's just okay getting a villa like this is nothing less than 200 250 for the cheap ones in affordable neighborhoods this would be in neighborhoods like in Bonaberry or some parts of Bonamusadi and things like that. If you're going to places like Bonaprizo, just prepare from their 500k and not to talk about those houses that are rented just by people like expatriates and things like that. It goes up to a million. A cost of living, like when it comes to rents, rents are increasing. Normal studio apartments used to be between 50k, 40, 40k to 90k but now to get a clean good studio in Douala in a good neighborhood you have to be holding at least 80 between 80 to 100k okay 80 to 100k and please in this video i'll be talking mostly about like the average neighborhood i wouldn't look a lot at the expensive neighborhoods okay while having self-contained rooms like just simple bedrooms and all that you get good clean bedroom kitchen toilet you get those ones now from 40,000, 50,000. So rents is a big deal. When you start seeing houses near the road, houses on paved roads. And that's one thing that I was always scared of. Like, oh, they came and paved our roads, the roads leading to my house. And I was like, oh my God, a landlady was going to come and add the rent. But thank God she hasn't said anything. Normally, even though these prices are rising, there are still neighborhoods that you can get cheaper houses. But you also want to look at things like security and all that. Because even though they, these prices are like that, you could, I'm not trying to say that in Douala, you're not going to see any house that is lower than this no that's not what i'm saying there are still some ne certain neighborhoods that you can go and you're going to see houses for lower prices but here i'm just talking about if you want to be comfortable and you want a certain kind of environment that is what you should think the next thing we're going to talk about is food groceries the things from the supermarket things from the market <laughs> see my god guys this basket of tomatoes sometimes it, i used to buy for even three five when it gets really cheap but guess how much it cost the last time i went to the market it was ten thousand five hundred. so it's true that this is not really the season but even when it used to get really bad a basket 
packet of tomatoes like that was going to cost seven five when you see people in the market screaming that oh my god this thing is too expensive a basket of tomatoes like that was going to be seven five but with that foil increase the people are now giving that basket of tomatoes for ten thousand five hundred if you are buying to go and resell they'll give you the basket for like nine thousand so you can imagine the difference so food is no joke if you used to feed your family back in the day for 100k 120 people are now feeding their families for 200k because when you go and buy i said the other day i went and i bought from the market and i looked at my things and i was asking the people in the supermarket what did i buy my bill just came up to ninety thousand, guys i had not even started buying and i'm like what did i buy i'm talking about just buying granola oil milk for the kids sugar things for breakfast the bill is already coming to ninety thousand. so i was asking them what did i buy what honestly did i buy because i cannot see what i bought prices of granola oil are crazy it's first of all difficult to see granola oil or soya bean oil it's difficult to see granola oil before you with your 1000 francs you get good quality granola oil but now if you're not holding at least 1300 forget about it you start buying funny type of granola oil so i'm like ah, see cost of living is not it's not even cheap even in those places where you used to go before and then you buy like a plate of food for 500 what most of those people have done now is either they have reduced the amount of food they'll give you for that 500 or they have added their prices to 1000 the other day i was asking a friend of mine like so these roadside people hmm, a lot of people have started cooking now in their homes those people who never used to cook because at the end of the day you see that cooking in your house is way cheaper than eating out there so prices of things are getting crazy even things like sugar balls and other things that we used to buy for 100 francs what some places did was instead of selling it for 100 francs they started selling now for 125 francs 150 francs or they reduced the sizes even my bread the bread i buy every night the bread that we used to buy a packet for 500 it used to be big but when the prices of flour increased they reduced the sizes of bread so now my kids have to eat at least two of that bread to get food so at the end of the day the price the way we're spending on food you actually have to double the amount that you're spending before for food to be able to spend for food now it is not easy guys it is not easy so for a family of five for you to be able to feed your family and live and live comfortably you have to keep at least a hundred and fifty thousand francs per month and when i say hundred and fifty thousand this should be for everything and you should have to be very strategic where you're buying you could also ease things like if you have people in bamenda and places where they sell food cheap you could send them to buy things and send to you but even in the bamenda that things used to be easy and cheap before it's not like that anymore like a bucket of irish potatoes before used to go for 2000 francs 25 but now a bucket of irish potatoes goes at 3000 some even 4000 so prices of food eh? it's not it's not a joke the next one i'm going to talk about is transportation i'm talking about the giants first the next one i'm going to talk about is transportation <laughs> a driver almost beat me the other day see you guys i either used bikes for transportation or i used a personal car for transportation so i hardly use taxis so this good day i get up and i'm like let me go out there and just look for a taxi and enter a taxi it's been a long time since i entered inside the taxi i went and i entered guys i did not know that prices of taxi had changed from 250 to 300 so i now go and reach and i remove 250 and i gave the driver the driver screamed at me like are you not living in cameroon how dare you pay me 250 guys transport has evolved over the years from 200 francs per drop to 250 and now we are 300 and i'm hearing that they want to go to 400 francs imagine you working somewhere where you need to take two drops every day like before when i was working i used to take two drops like i'll take a drop from bonaberry to wrong point wrong point to aqua okay so i have to pay 300 from bonaberry to wrong point wrong point now to aqua before i used to beg 100 to my office because my office was not too far but now you cannot pay 100 francs from wrong point to my office you have to pay either 200 or 250 so calculate how much you're spending for transportation a day <laughs> the average cameroonian will be spending at least 1000 francs for transport a day prices of fuel have increased it has evolved from the 500s to 600s to now and it's going to 800 to the 800 say 800 900 guys guys transportation is not easy even the bike people that you i used to take a bike to go to places around me 100 they're telling you no 
we are not taking 100 francs it's either 150 francs or nothing so you will see now that the amount that you spend for transport even the yango rides like the personal yango rides i used to take the prices just started adding and see guys that's when i decided that you know what i'll rather start driving because it's going to be easier for me it's going to be cheaper because when i calculated how much i would spend for just taking rides every day taking bikes every day because when i get on the bike i don't like to climb on a bike with somebody i don't know so generally if i'm going to like one point i'll just be like no carry me alone so that's 500 francs to one point if i'm going to aqua if i'm going to somewhere like mbopi to the market like those are the normal i go to like go to mbopi or go to aqua i have to start paying the, the bike person 1000 francs just to go 1000 francs to come back that's already 2000 francs oh my god that's already 2000 francs you have used just for transportation in one day so i noticed that in one week i'll spend close to 10,000 12,000 on transportation when with this my iron horse car if i put 25,000 i'm filling the tank and i can use that for a whole month and run my errands without stressing so much so that really helped me that has really helped me i cannot tell you how much driving has reduced my cost of living especially when it comes to transportation so if you're somebody out there who was scared to drive like me this is your call to run and go and take that car and start driving because <laughs> transportation will finish you in this dweller especially if you're doing a lot of little errands like myself if you're doing that you definitely need to learn how to drive because using bikes using taxis using it's going to eat your money it's true that i was kind of in the high side because there are certain places that i want to go to i'll just decide to just take a ride like i'll take a yango ride and just my transport to go and come down already be like five thousand but still still it is going to be way cheaper if you learn how to drive and then you can put fuel in your car especially if your car is low consumption that's also another thing if you have a car that is high consumption like the highlander is high consumption no not for me <laughs> that is why i'll rather drive the other car because i put fifteen thousand in that car i think it was last week monday and i i, I the, the fall hasn't gone anywhere and i'm very contented you get so that is that is just it the next thing i'm going to talk about is for parents that is nanny child care see guys as cost of living is increasing if you are somebody that has a conscience that has a heart that has sense you would also think of increasing the amount you're paying even if you don't have a, a nanny that takes care of your kids like those people that come and clean your house cook for you and things like that you definitely want to add their money because generally i can remember when i just started having kids my first nanny i used to pay her twenty five thousand. as times were getting hard i added the money to thirty thousand. went to 35 now it's going to 40 the amount you pay your nanny it's also supposed to increase because you're looking at this person how do they pay transport how do they pay rent how do they eat and all that it's true that to an extent okay like for me my nannies take breakfast and lunch in my house sometimes i'll even give them food to go back but even if you're doing all those things you also want to look at it like if they were paying you no maybe your standard of living is in one level now that you cannot see but just look at somebody in your family right who probably could be doing that same kind of job imagine would that person be able to live with that kind of amount of money if they're paying them that kind of money so you also want to put that into consideration these people have kids how are they supposed to survive so you are looking at all of those things and then you also have to try to pay them according to that sometimes i'll just try i'm like okay even if i'm not giving you money maybe i can give you things to give your kids i can give you clothes to give your kids i can sometimes when i'm buying for my kids if i know that my nanny has kids i could just buy some things and just give them because when you're looking at these people you're like how are you people surviving like how are you surviving in this economy they're paying you forty thousand your husband is probably working somewhere they're paying them hundred thousand how much do you pay for rent how much do you feed your kids how much do you pay for transport and all this if people who are having jobs that they pay them like three hundred thousand they're complaining what about you how are they how much so when it comes to the nanny child care uh i am very i'm trying to be very intentional to this because also when you pay these people well you take good care of them that's how they're going to take care of your house they'll, they'll be happy to do their job they'll be content and it's going to make things easier for you so why not okay Okay, the next one is internet. <laughs> the next one is the internet okay for me i feel like internet in cameroon at this point is affordable <laughs> don't come for me i feel like it's affordable to be very honest because you have so many codes that i see people typing now you're just supposed to have links i have people who can give you those codes for me i say here all the time since i started using the camtel boa package it's the best thing to me if you're a creator and you're looking for what um internet to use or if you're just coming from out of the country and you're looking for what internet to use i always advise everybody to use the camtel boa package it is the best it is fast like camtel first of all what you know is camtel is the one that gives internet to all the other internet companies like the mtns and the orange and all that camtel is the one who gives them the internet so they definitely would have the fast and the best we have the camtel internet 
the boa package and the boa package comes in different prices so for me as a creator i decided to go with the package for twenty five thousand per month that's my nose installation installing it is fifty thousand yeah fifty thousand and you pay after using so you pay that fifty thousand for installation and then when they come and install it you use it the whole of that month and then after that month you start paying so you pay after consumption you pay twenty five thousand after consumption what i was told when i went to do that was that there's also an option for fifteen thousand that's the cheapest in the boa package there's also an option for fifteen thousand so maybe if you're alone and you are you're in your house alone and you want to be streaming like the boa package is good for streaming if you like watching netflix and all things like that that is the perfect package for you so if you want to be streaming your movies on all these online platforms and things like that definitely go for the package i went for the twenty five thousand package because i'm uploading a lot and i wanted to upload huge quality videos videos that are heavy from like three gigabytes four gigabytes at ease and that does it for me the only problem is it is a box that is in your house so you also have to do provision for internet when you go out of your house i really don't have a problem with that because i spend a lot of time at home so it really doesn't bother me right i just go out once in a while so what i do is i pay for the campton boa package and then i do the mtn package for five thousand where you get free calls to all networks you get three gigabyte internet and then you get free messages as well so that for me it works perfectly i can make my calls all through the month i hardly call people like that unless when i have business and things like that but i hardly run out of credit right so i use that one to make my calls i don't even use the free messages i always forget that there are free messages free messages in my phone because i feel like people don't even read messages like that anymore that is basically the package i use and i feel like it works perfectly for me so yeah there are other packages like mt the mtm package the orange package of unlimited data and all that but it depends on you people also told me about the camtel there's a camtel how they call it the the modem the camtel modem one thing about that modem is that it doesn't work everywhere it's cheap you pay three thousand they give you unlimited internet but with what i do and talking to other youtubers who have used that they complain that okay yes it's going to upload but it'll take like three days to upload a video you cannot really stream you have to mostly download things that you're watching and all that and all that and i was just like okay that's clearly not for me for me i spend like thirty thousand for internet that's a lie <laughs> That's a lie. Because even though I'll put 5,000 option for MTN, when I go out sometimes, I lost, I forget that I'm not in my house. So I just get to stream and stream. So inside the month, like once or twice, I'm going to put like 2,000 francs for 4 gig. Okay, for 4 gig. So I put that option and I just watch video. So I would spend approximately 35,000 francs per month on internet. And I feel like that makes a lot of sense because before, when I calculated how much I was spending per week, I would spend at least 10 to 15,000 only for internet per week. And I was like, no, this cannot like, ha, this cannot be happening. So I definitely had to look for something that works better. And I feel like this Camtel bundle works better. It depends on you and what you do. If you know that you're one of those people who you don't browse like that, you don't use the internet like that, you definitely can pick something that works better for you, like the 10,000 France option in MTN. I don't really know orange bundles like that, but I know that they are mostly similar. Anyway, guys, that is it for internet okay guys what i've noticed is that this video is getting too long so i'll probably have to do it in two parts so um let's just end here and then i'm going to continue in the other parts because i feel like i've just gone through six points and i had 12 points let's just end here and i'll see you in part two thank you guys very much for watching and talk to you later bye Mwah.